Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Colossus. Now, not too long ago, Colossus and Old Man Logan underwent a transformation, and I did a beta on both of them. You can take a look at that on my channel. But of the two, I liked Colossus more. Now, he did get modified a little bit from beta to live. I don't remember what they changed, but he is still rank five worthy. And as you can see, I took him up to rank five. Now we're going to take a look here. Let's take a look at his attributes. You can see the champion tags. All right. And we'll switch over here. Look at that Brock proficiency. Pretty good. And the critical damage rating. Very, very nice. All right. And let's take a look at his synergies. All right. So he's got this fastball special. All right. So he gains a fastball fury buff at the start of the fight, granting 50% attack and 50% special attack rating, but it only lasts for 15 seconds. Cute. But yeah. Then you got this one here. Now, this one is actually pretty good. Uh, his armor up buffs, which he does get quite a few of them, also grant 1% attack rating. That's very, very nice. And we're going to take a look at that a little bit later. You got friends here. They, you know, everybody gains armor rating. Not too exciting. Uh, same here with uh, friends, two levels of friends. Uh, so you can get, you know, 260 armor rating. You got three. Wow. Wow. He has a lot of friends. Uh, here's his enemy, Juggernaut. Now, we saw that already, in case you forgot. I'm not sure why it's not going there. Okay, so you can see here, he's got the, you know, armor up buff one. See Juggernaut there. And then you've got Juggernaut here, also gives crit rating. Okay, you've got his enemies here, give crit rating, and magic here gives 5% health. But, Kabam does not show you some of the better synergies. Because what you're seeing here are synergies that he has with others. You don't have the synergies that others have with him. So let's switch over here to the Aunt May website. They have come to the rescue. All right, let's take a look here at the synergies. Boom, we've got all of them. We've got the ones that we just looked at, but we also have some that we didn't see. And one of the best synergies is actually this one here. Metal Mayhem, all right? Metal Mayhem. Just take a look at what he gets here. 2% attack rating for each armor up buff and well-timed blocks grant an armor buff. That is powerful. It is probably the best synergy for Colossus. Now, does he need this synergy to be good? No. If all you care about is damage, then you want this synergy. But I don't have a five-star Omega Red, and I still ranked up my Colossus, all right? Uh, champions, as I've said before, are tools. And for my roster, Colossus made the most sense. And we're gonna take a look a little bit further Let's close this off here. All right. There we go. All right. Let's go into his signature ability. The Mighty Colossus. Whenever one of Colossus's immunities protects him from an effect, he has a 32%, of course, it'll go up with his level, chance to gain an armor up buff that lasts 15 seconds. You've seen what that synergy Metal Mayhem can do. So more armor ups is a good thing. Uh, Colossus has a 25% chance to convert 
an expiring armor up buff into a permanent one. That is powerful. Now, does he need to be awakened? I wouldn't say so, but that conversion is very, very important. Uh, I would definitely like to have a awakened Colossus rather than an unawakened one, but even unawakened, he's still going to be a true tank. All right. So let's look at his passives. He's immune to bleed, incinerate, cold snap, and frostbite effects. And if he's not fighting a tech champion, he's also immune to armor break and armor shattered debuffs. Now, remember what his signature ability allows him to do gain those armor up. So if he's awakened, and he's going up against a champion that bleeds, incinerates, cold snap, you know, frostbite, you know, Iceman, uh, Vision, Arcus, all of these guys, he is going to just keep getting armor up buffs. At the start of the fight, he gains a number of indefinite armor up buffs equal to two plus the number of X-Men uh, champions on his team, including himself. Sometimes... You have that kind of effect, and it excludes them. All right? Unless otherwise stated, Colossus's armor up buffs provide 233 armor rating. Additionally, for each armor up buff Colossus has, he gains an additional 64 crit damage rating. So the more armor ups he has, the harder he's going to hit when he crits. All right? Um... If Colossus's ability accuracy is below 100, he gains 100% power rate for the duration of the attack. All right, now, if he's not tanky enough with all those armor ups, look at this. Enemy critical hits. Their damage is capped at 150% of the opponent's attack rating. So they're not going to be critting for very much. Uh, each time this damage cap is hit, the duration of Colossus's armor up buffs are refreshed. So he's going to just stay with those armor ups. Additionally, he has a 50% chance to gain an additional armor up buff lasting 15 seconds. All of this means he is a tank. Now, look at what happens when he does a parry, which is the well time block. 100% chance to gain an armor up buff lasting 15 seconds. Remember, you have a chance to convert them if he's awakened to a permanent if contact is made by basic attacks colossus has a hundred percent chance to inflict a stun debuff lasting one second if colossus has the parry mastery the stun debuff is disabled and instead a successful parry also deals 1162 direct damage all right and take a look here his special and heavy attacks. Attack rating is increased by up to 4,648 based on Colossus's armor rating. Remember, his armor rating goes up the more he gets armor up buffs. So that means that these special attacks and heavy attacks are going to just hit much harder if you can stack up those uh, armor up buffs. And his heavy attack. If the opponent has a stun debuff, remember he does stun them on the well time parry. Uh, Colossus's heavy attacks have a 100% chance to purify the stun and grant a passive fury, increasing attack by up to 8,134 uh, based on Colossus's armor for three seconds. So it's going to last for three seconds, which is just enough time for you to fire off a special. And you'll see me do that in the... Uh, Realm of Legends fight uh, to come. All right, so now we've got uh, the special one. He's going to gain an indefinite armor up buff. Flat 5% chance per armor up buff to inflict a, a stun debuff for two seconds. His special two attack is unblockable. Very nice. Uh, when activated for each armor up buff, Colossus has a 50% chance to gain another lasting 15 seconds. These buffs do not count towards the max stack limit allowing Colossus to temporarily go above his armor buff limit. And if you have forgotten, let's scroll up real quick here. Max 20. All right. And here we go. 
Um, special three. 100% chance to inflict an indefinite passive fatigue on the opponent that reduces their critical rating. So that means that they're not going to crit as much, and you know he already has a crit reduction built in, so it just makes him very tanky. All right, Colossus activates Organic Steel, increases the amount of damage reduced by armor, as if he wasn't tanky enough, and resistances by 2% per armor up buff. Additionally, while armor, uh, Organic Steel is active, Colossus is unstoppable while blocking, allowing him to shrug off attacks. Beast mode. All right. So people were asking me, why did you rank up Colossus? He's got a lot going on. All right. So let's go into Realm of Legends and play around with Winter Soldier. Okay. So here's the team that I decided to go in here with. You can see the synergies. Let's take a look real quick. All right, so we've got uh, Wolverine here. We did put Juggernaut. All right, that's Wolverine again. And we got Juggernaut. And I chose to go with Magneto for more crit because you'll remember his crit rating was pretty low. And of course, with Wolverine, he gets some more crit. And because he's an X-Men, he gets some benefit benefit from that as well. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in here and see what Colossus can do. All right, so let's see. Now I've already done a video with him in Realm of Legends, but I didn't do one with these um, synergies. All right, you see that little fury that lasts for just like five seconds? I mean, five or three. I think it was three. But just look at the damage. Just look at this. And this is how you want to fight with him. You want to build up to a special two if you can. All right, so parry when Winter Soldier acts right. And then do a heavy. Okay, we got that. All right, so now let's do another heavy. And there we go. All right, so notice how I built up. Look at the damage he's doing right now because he has those uh, armor up buffs. All right, so all I'm doing, parry, heavy. That's pretty much his style. Look at that. Look at, look at the crit damage. Just look at this. Insane. All right. So again, what we want to do, parry, and then interrupt it with the special. He didn't get any crits right there, but he is just crazy. Look at, look at the damage. Love this Colossus. And he can take damage too. That's the thing. All right. Let's try a, a special one. Okay. Look at, look at, look at. He's just a tank. There we go. Let's hit him up. No crits. Get some more in there. Look at that. 26k crit. Yeah, I don't know why he just paused right there, but that's all right. And he's got 19 armor up buffs. 12k crit. Another 12k. 29k. Look at this. Crazy. Insane. You want to know why I ranked him up? Because he's a true tank. That's why. And what I mean by a true tank is that if you know tanks, they have both offensive and defensive power. He may not be the greatest damage dealer in the game, but as you can see, He's no slouch. And he can take a lot of punishment. That's a tank. Most games have either a defensive tank or an offensive tank. But after the rework, he is a true tank. All right. Uh, and then throw in his immunities. So what you saw there was just how much damage he can put out. But remember, he is immune to a lot 
of things. So he fits in and can handle a variety of paths. Okay. And I was running suicides. So bear that in mind. Uh, so that does inflate the damage numbers a little bit. But he is suicide friendly. As you saw. I didn't have to fire off my specials too much. And if I really wanted to, I could have just done parry heavy and fire off a special three. So I love Colossus. He fit perfectly with what I needed for my roster. And what you want to do is evaluate your roster and see if he fits in with your roster and your needs. You know, I didn't need a great damage dealer, even though he does some great damage because I already have Corvus and I already have Ghost. I have Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. So I've got damage dealers. But what I needed and I didn't have at rank five, I didn't have a lot of these immunities. Sentinel, he handles some of the immunities, but Colossus handles a lot more, especially Incinerate. So that's gonna do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video and what you think about Colossus. And you all have a blessed day.